right end of day market overview it is the last day for the week guys um we've been back to the original game plan as far as the forex market goes i'm going to talk about that in a minute i want to start off with the cryptocurrency market talked about the ripple today in one of the videos take a look how it's finding support at 3666 that looks really good so we threw in another 10k guy 30k on the ripple heading towards 4350 monero coming up it did so yesterday and ended up right where it started and it did that um that was the fourth day in a row where it did the same like four dodges in a row that's crazy i don't know how day is going to end up but it does look positive at least at this point in time bitcoin cash also finding nice support here 134.43 we expect a full upside reversal at this point and uh if it if today end up positively we'll double up tomorrow well not tomorrow but i guess on monday right uh we want to see pricing begin to lift off uh lift off the ground right 134.43 right there so we have three active positions in the cryptocurrency market. I want to show you what's up with the Forex market because we really uh, shook shook the hand we were having. Um, we basically got rid of all of those Japanese currency pairs. The break below 104.05 on the Canadian Japanese yen, big disappointment. We had to get out. Same for the New Zealand and Japanese yen. It's not just the the way it failed to break 83.87, which was absolutely incredible. I can't, I just couldn't believe it. Uh, such a fake breakout, right? Huge upset for us. But the way it closed that uh, below 83.87 and leaving that weekly exposed here showing us that it's not going to make it and of course the way it broke below 8387 last week those put two and you know two and two together that's not a good sign we had to get out um new zealand japanese yen we took a small loss on the way out it didn't go too far pound japanese yen was a bigger loss although a smaller position um and same for the canadian japanese yen uh we took quite a bit of a loss here as well very disappointing um so yeah those are out let me show you what's in let me show you what's in we got uh we got the gold talked about that today we got tala canadian we think it well here's the thing we got out from Dollar canadian because of the failure to break 2880 but we thought, you know, when it's usually when it fails on the breakout, it's turning around completely. But this one turned around for just one day and straight back up for a second attempt. And you know what we think about second attempts. Usually second attempts are successful. So we're back in. All right. Back in the game with the dollar Canadian. We got dollar Canadian. We got the gold. We got the euro pound. But guess what? We flipped over. All right, I know we were preparing for a breakout of 84.31, but you know what? A second look, we noticed that the weekly is reacting to 84.31 here. We think this one's going down. It may come back up later down the road to break that level, but for this, at least at this moment in time, we think it's more likely that it will have another move on the way down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, back on the downside to 83.62. So we're trying to catch that move. It's a quick one. We got our stops level pretty tight at 84.75. Now we already uh we 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 were we catch we caught that move. We were riding that move all the way to 83.98 and left a little bit of a position all the way to the edge here and then got out. So it was a great move back up. Now we think we can t chase the uh, the opposite direction, right? In case it breaks out, we're jumping out of this position and flipping back up again, flipping over again to the original game plan, chasing 85.65, right? So this is a cheeky one here. Canadian Swiss franc, we feel it's coming off. 
as you know, we've been bearish on the Canadian Swiss franc mostly because of the way it broke a 74.61 last month, uh, a couple of months ago. And then it did it again last month when it pulled back all the way. You know what? It even did that again this month, right? It was testing 74.61 for, th for the second time this month. And it's pulling back down. We feel this is a great timing to catch that move. But when we opened the market today, we noticed it was coming up. So instead of trying to predict how high it can go before we drop that hammer, we decided to put a, a pending order, a sell stock pending order, be just a tag below the lowest low of, of today, where just in case it starts to turn back down again, it will sweep us back into uh, back in position here. Sweep us in position, into short position with the target of 73.16 in mind. All right, what else? We have Euro New Zealand dollar. We're back with this one as well. We decided to revive the Euro New Zealand dollar position. We got 25k here. Huge move back up yesterday. Uh, we kind of fell for that trap, you know, it was it was on the back foot big time with a lot of momentum. We felt it was breaking it, you know, we felt it was a huge upset, huge upset, but you know what, it came all the way back up, left a second spike, even slightly longer, believe it or not, than what we had here last week, which is why we fell for that trap, right, it was a nasty one, no doubt. But now we're back in, and we're gonna back. We're gonna we're gonna go, come back in with vengeance, which means we're gonna get aggressive now. Started off with 25k, but we're gonna be riding 50k here if this continues to push forward, and we're gonna try to chase that 64, 53 target with 50k. All right, just to overcompensate on the loss we had to take last time. All right, that's about. Oh, of course, we got the silver. That's looking good, coming back up. It had a nice turnaround on that 1995, just as we thought it would, just as we called it out. And now it's pushing forward. We got in with another 5K. This position is getting bigger. That's about that for the day today. I'm a little bit longer than usual. I guess we kind of had to recap on um, on the last week, guys. I hope you enjoy your weekend. We're going to be back on Monday. So till then, be well.